So now that most of my characters are 950 and my battle pass is at level 80, I thought today was a great day to start my review for Shadowkeep. Fair warning, I've not done the raid. I've tried, but oh my god. Ugh, that LFG is garbage. Uh, so I won't be judging the raid even though I do have more positive than negative. So, with that being said, I will start this review with a conversation I had with my girlfriend recently. She was asking me what's new in Shadowkeep. And... This was probably like the second day that Shadowkeep was out. And I told her we would go back to the moon. And she immediately, without missing a beat, reacted to, oh, the moon? So nothing's new? And it kind of stopped me. I was like, I, I just couldn't respond. Because I'm like, yeah, I mean, we do go back to the moon. Which is, I'm not going to say it's recycled, gar like recycled content. Because it's not. But it feels... It, it also does feel that way. So, let's first start off with the fact that I will be judging Shadowkeep with uh, Season of the Undying because they both do take from each other. Like, Season of the Undying has the raid, but Shadowkeep has, like, the Eververse armor. So, there's a bunch of stuff that's like, well, it if they just called it Shadowkeep... Then it would have been like, yeah, this is a fine DLC. But because they said they said it's a season and a DLC, I thought it would be bigger. It doesn't feel big for me. And I'll show you guys why in a bit. So first, we're going to start off with the campaign. And I'm going to be real with you guys. The campaign is uh, super pathetic. Oh, my God. I'm not talking about content wise because the content of the campaign is great. It, it's really cool. It's like a lot of lore. Eris is back. Uh, spoilers and stuff, but the content of it is really cool. It's just the length of it is so like unbelievably fucking bad. Like, wow. I was just I was blown away. I was like, wow. Like y'all really did this. Y'all really did this, huh? Like y'all really had the balls to do like two, three missions, and the bulk of the of the campaign is just me doing quests. Or like not quest, I'm sorry. Bounty type quests where it's like, oh yeah, you did this, cool. In order to get this gun, you're supposed to get you're supposed to do activities and then collect this one thing and then get a like what was it? 25 kills with this gun or 50 kills. And I remember thinking I was like, this is cool, this is I don't mind this for the weapons. Until I started doing the activity stuff and I was like, wow, this is a this is garbage. I have to do like I have to do five heroic events because each gives me 20% or I can just go around the moon and collect material which gives me like four or six depending on how much I get and I can just kill that way faster and I'll be getting material while I'm at it. So immediately the armor, the weapons, I was just like, okay, I hate this. This is the, the activity thing is just garbage. And then uh, the armor is just like kill a hundred Vex in the, you know, f uh, f whatever they're fallen. And I was just like, wow, so this is how we get the armor. Because I remember, what's his face? Uh, the director was saying like, oh yeah, Luke Smith. He was saying like, oh yeah, you're going to be able to get better weapons and stats and all this from this one event thing. And they showed... I forgot what this is called. I'll probably put it in the screen, but oh my god, like once I started doing it, I was like, my dude, I'm not gonna do any of this. This is this is oh oh my god, this is so annoying. Like I'm I'm hyped that it's like bounty stuff because that's how it should be, even though it's a technically a quest. But the activities you have to do, I, I don't I don't care about the guns. You don't have to collect the thing, but the activity thing is just like oh such a fucking oh like you feel like not doing it. So, I'm not saying it's garbage. I'm just saying, like, the bulk of the campaign was that. And I was just like, oh, I'm fucking done, bro. Like, because we had to, after this first mission, we did the second mission, which was getting the material thing. I forgot what it's called. It's like a, like a puzzle thing. And then, after that, we had to do the, we ended up getting armor pieces and we, which we had to collect the other three to do the last mission mind you we have only had to do 
three more like not even missions it was nightmare hunts to get to the last mission so i was just like wow like that kind of blew me away because i was like the first mission second mission and then all the bounty stuff and then the third mission which was the final mission so campaign was a uh, really garbage garbage like it's so bad like this has been the shittiest campaign i've seen in a while not because of the content again but because of the length so yeah campaign's garbage that's all i gotta say <clears throat> or campaign's length is garbage vex invasions and vex offensive for me at least they're fun i'm not gonna front with you guys they're fun they were a lot of fun i did it with my girlfriend i did it with randos it's still fun did it with homies still fun i have no issue with it i think my biggest issue with the vex offensive and vex invasions is just the rewards because what is it you get there's a pool of the armor which i already don't like i think it's very unimaginative and it's based like i love what they're basing it off but i think they need to look more vex more more vex should have like I, it's hard to explain if you see the armor from the battle pass that's vex that's so much vex that's not that didn't translate well for the for the vex offensive armor if I'm, like i just i just wanted it to look more vex because i think the idea of like your armor having like moss and like grass coming out i i think that was cool i think the grass and moss should have changed colors with your shaders but I, I, that's such a really big nitpick for me so armor I think is really disappointing weapons I feel the same way grass and moss should have changed color not only that but please come on you guys should have given us a new weapon like a new weapon model you guys using uh, the curse of Osiris weapons I'm just like really guys like come on bro like it's so disappointing because there's some good rolls that I have on some guns, but I'm just like, I like for the, for the hand cannon, I'm not a big fan of the, the look of it. And like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. If I don't like the look of a gun, I will probably never use it because for me, I, I'm more about the looks than about gameplay. Sure. I'll use like a shitty gun if it gives me a really big boost, but I'm not, I'm not going to use it for long. So for me, I have a, a few good rolls on the, the hand cannon, but I'm just never going to use it because it looks gross. So that's just me. Like, I'm not saying, oh, a bunch of you fucked up. That's just me. Like, I, that's a choice that I don't, I will not do. So when I go into like the Vex Offensive, I usually go in there just to finish my, my weekly, maybe get some good stuff. Like the pulse rifle's fine. The SMG is fine. That's it. That's pretty much it. Like other than that i really don't care about any of these i think the fact that they only made the pool what four weapons really four weapons y'all are really gonna just put four weapons like i don't know vex offensive is fun but just the rewards are just kind of garbage for me i do i do think the vex offensive rewards you do get a lot of it but it's just a lot of the same stuff that you see over and over so like for me the rewards not very rewarding i mean you can do it over and over so you can get more legendary shards but at the end of the day that's all it is it's just pure legendary shards for me so that's pretty much it for vex offensive and invasions this one's probably gonna be the bulk of the video probably not but i have a lot of things to say about this so we're gonna be talking about the new armor cold on cold because there's like three i think and no vendor refresh this has obviously been like something that the whole community has been bitching about but i'm gonna say it in the video it's really garbage that we have no vendor refresh since like what forsaken like my dude we haven't had a vendor refresh since forsaken like you know how wild that is my dude like what the actual fuck and even then like i remember the the vendor refresh for the vanguard i was just like it's just curse of osiris armor what the fuck and it's just like, why are you guys always using Curse of Osiris armor, dog? Like, what the fuck? It's always Curse of Osiris something. It's pissing me off. But lo and behold, we ended up getting the year one armor for Vanguard and Destiny, or, or Vanguard and Crucible, which I think is fine. I don't mind it at all. I just don't think 
that should have been the main thing. We should have gotten something else. Like, we should have gotten some spooky, like, Vanguard and, uh, and Crucible Armor. That would have been cool. Like, I don't understand why they didn't give us the vendor refresh, but whatever, I guess. So, what we're gonna look at is some of the new armor sets that we ended up getting for this DLC. Spoiler alert, I'm really disappointed because this is like a fat DLC, apparently. Like, this is supposed to be like a really good DLC. Like, I remember the hype about this was like, this is gonna be like a big change for us. This is gonna be huge. And I was like, all right, this is a lot of promises. If it's like Forsaken, fine, I'm all with it. Like, this is cool. But if it's not, I'm gonna be really fucking angry. Guess what? I'm really fucking angry. <laughs> so, we're gonna be looking at the Iron Banner set armor. We're getting this in Tuesday, today's Saturday or Sunday, I don't remember. But the Iron Banner set we're getting, it, Iron, Iron Banner armor set we're getting, I think it looks super basic. Oh my god, every every class has like every class has an like the armor just looks basic as fuck. I'll probably put the video up hopefully, but it just looks so like basic as fuck, bro. And I'm just I'm so disappointed because like. It just, it just looks like, it's so hard to put into words, like, it's like they asked the guys, like, oh yeah, you guys need to make some armor, oh, okay, cool, but make it, like, really boring, it's like, what? It's like, yeah, make it really boring, it's like, why? It's like, you, don't, don't, don't question me, just make it boring, like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. That's just how it feels, I'm not really a big fan of the Iron Banner set, armor set, but I haven't been a fan of the armor set like the whole armor set since like since the third season the named lords are Arnim ornaments so i think that was the last really good armor set that we had other than that everything else has just been kind of like boring or like parts of it i liked the next armor set is the dream bane armor set which is the uh, armor set you get from the moon um nah, nah. Nah, I'm not a big fan of it either. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool. I like pieces of it for sure. I think the Titan's uh, mark is awesome. I think the Hunter's cloak, I guess, is cool. The Warlock's band is awesome. I think a few of the things are cool, but in total, the armor is just kind of really lackluster, in my opinion. So. Not saying it's a negative, it's just not my personal taste. I know a lot of people actually like it. So I'm not putting that as a negative because at the end of the day, it's very taste, so whatever. What I do think is garbage is the raid armor. The raid armor is very garbage. Oh my God, I, whoever you are, I don't care. You can fight me on this, man. The armor is garbage, bro. It's, it's reskin. And I know people are gonna be like, it's not reskin, man. There's a lot of different things. Cool, I got you. There's a lot of different things. The base armor is a copy of, I don't even have the armor because I wasn't playing that season, but it's it's the armor from, again, what the fuck, Curse of Osiris. Why, why are we getting Curse of Osiris stuff, bro? I don't understand. That's not, that wasn't even a good DLC. That was the worst DLC in the fucking game's history. So for me, I am in no, like, no rush to do the raid, which is so weird because I've always been in a rush to do every raid that's ever been out, except for, like, maybe a few. But for me to be like, whatever, and apparently this is a really fun raid, too, and I'm just like, I mean, like, why do I want to do it since the raid armor is just so, like, it's so gaga, bro. So, for me, it's very disappointing because, like, I was expecting something way cooler than this, but no, it's like, this armor, I guess, looks like the last boss aren't, aren't like, how he looks, but I'm like, why couldn't we look cooler? Like, what the, whatever. Raid armor, but disappointing. So, we also ended up getting a few armor pieces that are not new, like the Red Moon Phantom Suit. I know a lot of people are going to be like, we got that. I was like, no, we didn't, because that's a Forsaken exclusive for play playstation 4 players and even then this is kind of a reskin as well so it's a reskin of the first armor we get 
not only that, but the Crucible and Vanguard, again, they're from year one, so they're not new. There's a, honestly, if you really think about it, we only got three new armor sets in this whole DLC. And two of them, no, wait, two of them, no. One of them is behind, one of them is behind the season, the, I'm sorry, the Battle Pass. And then the other one is behind Eververse. That's why I, not, I didn't put them on the list. But other than that, that's pretty much it. It's just Iron Banner armor, Raid armor, and then the Moon armor. Which, I'm going to be honest, I was expecting more armor. I was, gonna, I was expecting like minimum five pieces of armor, six hopefully. But like three is just... Especially for someone who likes to look really, really get into how I look. Three pieces of garbage. So that's how I feel about that. We're gonna get into mods. Mods are annoying. I hate them. Don't get me wrong, I like the idea of them, but the fact that we don't know what we have, we have to go into each armor and look, okay, where is this? Where is that? Like, oh my god, man, they made it so really complicated when they could have just, like, I don't know, <clears throat> made a mod list somewhere and then just let us go through that and be like all right cool i have this i have this i have that like if they really want to keep this affinity armor shit which i think is garbage then just have a list based on the infinity i don't understand why they didn't think of this ahead of time like especially since they're not even trying to go for the hardcore base they're trying to go for the you know the casual base which is fine every every game's trying to do that now if you're doing that you you need to give the casuals a list or even the hardcore people a list of like all right what do i have and what don't i have because at the moment in the modification section it's literally just old shit that i used to have from previous seasons that doesn't help me at least put it in like a triumphs list like how how the exotic catalysts are they're all in one list you can see them whenever you want i would actually make it an actual list like maybe in the modification section in your inventory and then just like click click on like a button right next to modifications click it and then it clicks into like what burn you want to do like arc solar and um, void i want to see my my this and it just shows you like hit like helmet arms chest legs and mark or uh, class item that's how i would do that it would be so simple but I don't know why, but Bungie just has the hardest time with UI. So I don't think this is ever going to happen. I think we're going to have to go to a third party like we always do to track some of the stuff that we have. It's just, bro, we're in 2019. They're still doing this shit. It pisses me off. Sorry. Sorry. So you guys probably already know how I feel about the armor affinity. It's just super dumb. I'm probably just going to make a video of that all of in itself but i think it's just garbage i think the powerful gear how we get them is garbage the fact that they they made them tiers tier one two three then pinnacle bro i think at the end of the day if you're a fan of destiny 2 and you've been playing it for a while it's a dlc that's worth it question mark it's so hard to say because most of my friends don't even play Destiny 2 anymore. Shadowkeep was like the last thing that they were like, yeah, if it's really good, then I'll get it. And when when they asked me, they're like, Tony, how is it? And I was just like, honestly, I could lie to you and tell you it's great, but it's not. Like, I don't think it's great. I think it's fine. I think it's I think it's fine. And that's the and that's a weird thing to say. Like, I think it's just fine. Like, it's not great. It's not amazing. It's fine. So that's my review it's fine it's a fine dlc it could have been better but a lot of the things that in the that's in this game is just it made it more grindy for whatever fucking reason so that's my review let me know what you guys think about the dlc and whatnot i know this is kind of a weird review it's not very like layered and whatnot but i just needed to review it the way i, I kind of wanted to because if I review in a layered format, then it would have taken longer. Not only that, but I'm actually sick right now. Uh, I think I have like the cold or whatever. I've been sick since like yesterday, which is another reason why I couldn't even complete the raid. So let me know what you guys think about this review. Honestly, if you guys are going to ask me if it's great, should I, you buy it? If you're a Destiny 2 player and you've been playing for a while, 
get it it's fine it's gonna there's a lot to grind for but if you're new to destiny 2 just play the free version just play the free version and then once the next season comes out i would say come okay yeah, come back unless you really want this battle pass armor which i think it looks really cool other than that i'll see you guys later let me know what you guys think about the review let me know let me know what you guys think about the review let me know what you guys think about the game itself Follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below and I will see you guys later.